day two, we will have all of the tile installed today. I'm really excited because the following day we collect payment. Show me the money. This van is awesome with gas prices right now. Diesel's up $7 a gallon. All right, our station is finally set up. We have taken over their entire garage. This will be our tile leveling system for this project. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. Double shower remodel. We're only remodeling the showers in these two bathrooms. A hall bath as well as a master bath. A tub surround as well as a walk-in. Let's show you the existing showers. They're gonna be very large tiles installed on these walls. We've been doing a lot of uh, subway ceramics, so we're really looking forward to uh, knocking this out very quickly in just a few days. Let's show you what we're working with here. We have all of our demo tools here. Plumbing, here is the tile. 24 inches by 48 inches. We have a beige porcelain look here, and this will be our decorative waterfall vertical stripe right down the middle through the niche. Again, this is a porcelain, 24 inch by 48 inch. It's gonna look beautiful, it's gonna look modern, minimal grout joints, so it's gonna be very easy to clean and maintain this shower. Let's show you the existing surround that we're going to tear out today. So here we have just a standard stall. We're gonna rip out this tub. We have our builder's grade four x four ceramic on drywall. We're gonna rip this out tear out these shower doors. We're also going to delete the valve, install a new valve, raise the shower head, niche in the back, you name it, tile all the way to the ceiling. So let's get to it and demo this surround. As you can see, we have everything protected because the cabinet's gonna remain, the floor is gonna stay in, we're gonna keep the toilet. This is just a shower remodel. All right, so here you have it. Builder's grade, it's directly on drywall, no waterproofing, but uh, I'd imagine the shower is probably about 30 to 40 years old. We do have some black mold where our grab bar was. Let's see what these corners look like. The tile's coming off with no problem. So this is going to be a very easy demo. All right, guys, demo is complete. Steel tub, we uh, pulled off the walls, as you can see in panels, it came off really easy. Not a whole lot of damage behind there. There was zero waterproofing. Four by four tile directly on drywall. Let's quickly show you over here. So this uh, held up for about 32 years. So you have drywall and you have tile, no waterproofing, no major damage. Of course, it is a tub surround, so we have our new tub just picked up right here. We're going to install this in a mortar bed. We're also going to install our valve. Let's show you uh, the demoed shower. Here we go. We're gonna have a vertical waterfall porcelain deco right in the middle. Large two foot by four foot tiles installed. And we're going to install our niche on this side wall here. Bathtub new valve. It's going to be a clean looking tub surround and again very easy to clean and maintain because of the large high gloss porcelain tiles. Let's get right to it, install the tub, get the valve in, get the niche framed and get our backer board up. This is going to be a Laticrete waterproofed tub surround. Step number one guys, we will install our tub here. Make sure it is level underneath our mortar bed. Of course we'll mix it up with our auger bit. Let's install the tub.
ladies and gentlemen, we are making progress here. Our tub is installed. We have it protected with surface shield carpet protector. Fantastic product to protect your bathtub during remodel and during tile installation. We have some foam board down at the bottom, so our niche is nearly framed out. I need to install a vertical stud there and then install our prefabricated 12 by 20 laticrete niche and then board is going up. Board and then sealant. So what we're gonna do, really simple, run a bead of sealant right in this radius of the flange. And we will set our board on top, which will get it a watertight seal. Our niche is marked. We'll quickly cut it out with the multi-tool, a lot faster than using a utility knife. exact same thing as we did on the back wall. Run our bead and seal it up right below the flange. Day two, halfway done with the shower. We will have all of the tile installed today. I'm really excited because the following day we collect payment. Show me the money. Then we start demo in the master shower. So here we go. This will be a quick install, large format, plus a niche in one day. Let's do it. We're packed to the rim here. This van holds as many tools as my F-350. Not a problem whatsoever. A little messy in here. We've got a large tile box. We have a DeWalt D36000, three foot cutter, bunch of leveling clips, lasers. But again, this van is awesome with gas prices right now. Diesel's up $7 a gallon where I'm at. So my diesel Ford F-350 is sitting. This little four cylinder Ford Transit gets 28 miles to the gallon. Highly recommended. Again, it holds a lot of tools. Let's unload this, get everything set up right here in the garage. This will be our tile leveling system for this project. Accu floor, 1 16th of an inch grout joints. All right, our station is finally set up. We have taken over their entire garage. This is exactly how we like it. D36,000 set up. We have a table right here. This is our beautiful two by four feet porcelain high gloss decorative tile that we're going to install as a waterfall in the back wall. We have the Montelite set up ready to snap this tile. We have our AccuFloor leveling system. Everything set up, we're going to be using Multimax light on this project. Let's get to it. Snap some tiles, mix up some thinset, and tile this shower. 